So hey, this is Akarshan and finally I am back with another exciting story and this time it's gonna be all about the motion planning of a 6-axis robotic arm. Just observe how beautifully the end effector of this robotic arm follows a star kind of trajectory in space. To do the entire motion planning, the concepts which I used were trigonometry, inverse trigonometry, coordinate geometry, calculus, vectors, 3D, linear as well as the rotational kinematics. Well, as I told that this robotic arm has been inspired by Boston Dynamics, so let's have a look at the spot. Well, here, a spot is using his arm to rotate a crank in a horizontal plane by moving his end effector in a horizontal circular trajectory. Inspired from a spot, this arm can also do the same thing as well. All you need to do is just tell the robot about the center's coordinates, the radius, parametric angle theta and the number of revolutions. The algorithms and maths used are so much generalized that based on the parameters x, y, z, r and theta, the arm itself determines the optimum trajectory that it really needs to follow in order to reach the theta point of the circle and once it reaches the desired point on the desired circle, then only the end effector starts to move in the horizontal circular path. Now here, how similar motions both these arms execute in terms of the trajectory that their end effector follows and also the base rotation. Just try to feel the orientation of the end effector in three-dimensional space. Well, to be honest, this is exceptionally beautiful as both the arms end effector not just follow similar kind of trajectories in space, but at the same time, their orientation also remains pretty similar throughout the motion. Now, if you have watched this video of a quadruped, you already know how huge fan I am of Boston Dynamics and this is why when 4 months back they uploaded this video and when I saw a spot moving escaping ropes in the vertical circular paths it literally blew my mind off to be honest and being a fan I also wanted to do the same thing at a basic level so I also tried and eventually got the results. Just observe how beautifully the end effector of the arm traces out the circular trajectories in the vertical plane. Just closely observe how similar both these arms function. Simply tell the robot about the center's coordinate, the radius, the parametric angle theta, the number of revolutions as we did in case of horizontal circular trajectories and then every single thing that is from the determination of the optimum path in order to reach the desired point on the circle to the end effector's motion in the vertical circular trajectories, every damn thing is gonna be done by the robot himself using some generalized algorithms and maths. And it really doesn't matter where the center lies or what the radius or theta is, simply tell the parameters and the robot is gonna get your job done. Now once again observe spots all. And just appreciate the beauty of this endpoint control, like just observe how beautifully the different lengths of a spot move in a way that the end effectors coordinate remain fixed. I also tried this and the entire motion planning is so generalized that I just tell the robot the coordinates of the point where I would like to stabilize the end effector and the pitch angle theta and based on these parameters x, y, z and theta the robot does the rest of the entire motion planning by itself. Just closely look both of them and observe the similarities in their trajectories. Now let's stabilize the end effector at some other point but this time with the opposite initial orientation and just to give you a more detail I have frozen the time here okay. So thus, we saw that the algorithms are so generalized that it doesn't really matter what's the orientation of the end effector is, which point you would like to stabilize the end effector or by how much pitch angle you want to change the orientation. Well, this is another in point control that a spot can do and inspired from a spot, this arm can also do the same thing as well. Just observe how similar they were in terms of motion planning and the basic algorithms are pretty similar to that of the previous endpoint control. Well, um, this video is pretty smaller in length and this is why I couldn't explain the physics behind this project. So we'll be dealing physics in the next video. Well now, let's have some fun. What I did here was I told the robot about the coordinates of the n number of points and based on x1, y1, z1, 2, xn, yn, zn, the arm is performing lots of sophisticated maths to perform the entire motion planning n can take any value from 2 to any positive number. And guys, can you tell me what's the value of n in this case? If you can, let me know in the comment section. And well, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, so we will be meeting very soon with another robot.